rolling wrench. They got this dialed in uh, to where they think it's uh, pretty good. And then uh, on the videos, it makes like this chirping noise when you turn it on. So let's see if we can get, see if it's flowing. It's coming out. Nice. Here we are at the filter. That's at the carb. You guys hear the chirping? All right, let's fire it up. Hell yeah, boys. I'm that's super exciting. Can't wait to go drive it now. Um, I haven't zip tied nothing because now we can start uh, wiring up our wide band. Just as I suspected, boys, it looks pretty freaking sweet right there in the middle. It looks like it's supposed to be there. It looks pretty factory, I would say. And then um, it's got a connector in the back that will get plugged into here. And then this wire connects to this side where it says gauge on the box. And then this says sensor. This is our sensor for the O2. And then this side is our power wire. It says power on the bottom right there. Sensor, gauge, and then power. And then this is our analog output. This um this is for like uh tuning. So that way like for electronic fuel injection. It can uh, actually adjust the air fuel mixture as you're riding, but uh, we have a carbureted system, so we're not gonna use that. Uh, rolling wrench uh, hooks you up with this wiring diagram. Uh, so red and white, we're gonna hook it up to the switch. Red and white, we're gonna hook up to 12 volt switch. Um, so I just followed the harness from the ignition switch to right here. This is our ignition switch. Uh, this peach wire and the green wire are actually our ground wire. And then this red wire is our 12 volt hot at all times. Um, and then this black wire is what we're gonna use to tap into our 12 volt switch. Um, it's dead right now, but as soon as you turn the ignition key on, you have 12 volts right here. And that's what we want. You don't wanna tap into the 12 at all times because you'll just uh, drain your battery. So this is our 12 volt switch right here. We're gonna hook up and tap into this for our red and white for 12 volt switch. And then our, our black wire engine ground. Um, I found that this here is a chassis ground. So we're just gonna hook up the black wire to this. I'll strip the paint off here so we can have a better connection, but uh, that'll take care of the black wire. And then for the orange wire, it says connect to the headlight switch, 12 volts. Well, that'll be here, this one, the orange wire. I just followed the the harness coming out from the headlight. And I found out that the blue wire that, um, that has 12 volts on and off as I flick the switch. So when I turn this on, the headlights turn on and then the gauge should light up as well when they all turn on together. Uh, here it is boys, we got our red and white hooked up to our ignition switch. We have the orange wire hooked up to the headlamp. And then we have the black wire hooked up to this eyelet on the ground. And then I stripped the paint so it has a better connection. And it's all bare metal now. But uh, yeah, we're now, we're gonna, I'm gonna turn the key. Oh yeah, I need fuel and we just hit a 800 miles. It's doing its little calibration. You can hear the fuel pump going. Hell yeah, that looks sweet. It looks like it's supposed to be there. And it does that. Now we're ready to start it up. Before we start it up, I got a welding 
the bung for the O2 sensor. The O2 sensor uh, screws onto this. I'm probably gonna put it on the inside of here because there's just, there's plenty of clearance. And screw this on. This will screw on right here. And then this will sit comfortably on the inside right here. Now I'm gonna take off the exhaust. There's just a 10 mil right there. And then there's two 10 mils on the header. Right there. Yeah. Landed. <laughs> Got the exhaust off. Um, took off the chrome plate. Uh, looks pretty nice. So I'm going to leave that chrome after we paint it all black. I'm going to drill a hole and weld in this bung and then paint it. And then, yeah, this has got some real bad discoloration. Looks pretty crappy. And then, like, this stainless looks pretty crappy too. So, yeah, we're gonna make it look nice. Here we are, boys, in the backyard. Um, I drilled a hole, like I said, and got the O2 bung tacked up. Um, I took off the two spring clamps, and this just, the muffler just slides off. And then the two clamps are the only thing holding it on. Uh, I got this tacked on, ready to go. I used the 110 in the garage, and now I'm gonna switch it out for the 220. There it is, guys. Fresh off the press. I haven't welded it in so long. Just pulled that out of my butt. It's all right. That was fun. I'm gonna get these two pieces uh, ready for paint. I'm gonna clean them up and scuff them up with some Scotch-Brite so we can get some real good adhesion with the paint. And then I'm gonna uh, tape it up so we can, so I don't get paint inside here, tape up the ports. The more I look at this, I'm starting to realize that maybe this isn't real carbon fiber. <laughs> oh well. Uh. Got the paint booth set up. Uh, it looks better already, just, uh, just with the scotch bright. Like, that's what it used to look like, and then now it looks like just bare metal. Here we are in its final form. It looks pretty sweet. I put the chrome piece back on with the, the spring, spring clamps, and I bolted up the O2 sensor for the wideband. It looks pretty good. I'm happy with how it came out. And then I got everything else zip-tied and neatly tucked away. Everything's in its final resting place. It's nice and neat, I'd say. Got the O2 going up there. And I gotta finish zip tying everything up in the box and then I uh, can start tuning the carburetor. I'm gonna start it up. It does have an electric choke. So um, I'm gonna let it warm up for about 10 minutes before we start doing any adjustments. Alrighty boys, I'm silly. So. Um, this isn't even an adjustment at all. This is actually a fuel drain from the carburetor bowl. This is There's a little hole on the bottom. I cracked this open and yeah, a bunch of fuel just started pouring out. This is just fuel right here. And then uh, come to find out, there's, there's only idle adjustment. So I can't even um, tune this thing. So <laughs> that is kind of pretty anti-climatic for the video because the whole purpose of the wideband was to tune the carburetor. But um, yeah, like usually there's an adjustment screw right there where that gold piece is at, but there's literally nothing there. 
And then um, I found this little cap. There's there's a little cap over this thing. Oh, right there. And I took the cap off and there's still no adjustment. And there doesn't seem like there's an adjustment on either side. And I guess apparently there's only idle adjustment. So we just need to upgrade the carburetor altogether so we can fine tune this engine. We're just gonna go for a cruise and see how it, see what numbers we get. back in the garage uh, just got back from my ride um, you could see that our from our wideband that our carburetor is absolutely um, tuned perfectly from factory because that um, at a stoplight you have we had um, 16 AFR and um, that has best fuel economy because you don't want to be using uh, you want to be using the least amount of fuel at a stoplight obviously and then um, cruising at 35, 40, we have a, a perfect um, safe power ratio of 12 to 13. And even at wide open throttle, it has a 12 AFR and it's absolutely perfect. After fixing our fuel issues, um, this thing is an absolute unit now. Uh, it doesn't sputter on wide open throttle when you're cruising. Or when you come to like a really quick stop, it's not stalling on me anymore. This thing is an absolute unit. I'm, I can't be any more excited, boys. Uh, I just, I'm loving this so much. Um, we, we tried that CDI box, the aftermarket one, and the one that's on there, it's already been upgraded and optimized, just like our carburetor has already been optimized and we can't make it any better. But uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just absolutely loving this thing. It's been so much fun to work on it and ride it, and I'm hoping you guys are enjoying the build process as well. Uh, hope you guys uh, like, comment, subscribe, keep up with this build. Thanks.